Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with another basic signal with which is the unit triangular signal or the unit triangular well the spelling you are hearing me right unit triangular function the spelling does not matter so now again as the name suggests it's a triangular pulse you can also say this is a triangular pulse as in the previous video we had a rectangular pulse was something like a rectangle this one is something like a triangle now how is this so this is represented as tri of t this is equal to t plus 1 when the time is between negative 1 and 0 do we have the equal sign we have and similarly this is equal to negative t plus 1 when the time is between 0 and positive 1 now I would draw the graph through proper method I would first prove it for you guys now from the equation of line we know uh, I would write over here equation of line this is what y equal to mx plus c isn't it so in our case y is tri of t right y is tri of t uh, x uh, is what x is t so if you have a look to the first equation m is 1 m is 1 means what the slope is 1 the slope is 1 isn't it so and the c is what it's the y intercept which is also 1 so which means that it would cross the y axis at point equal to 1 the slope m equal to 1 means what the tangent of theta is equal to 1 and slope is equal to 1 for a theta equal to 45 degrees so which means that this is a line making 45 degrees passing through y equal to 1 where is it starting so the limits are negative 1 and 0 so that we can simply find out from this equation okay if you have tri of t is equal to t plus 1 so let's say i try of t is y okay so y is equal to t plus 1 so if this is 0 if y is 0 so it would imply that 0 is equal to t plus 1 so which means that t is equal to minus 1 so at minus 1 we have the value of the function equal to 0 so let me now draw the graph over here so this is your time axis this is your tri of t this is 1 have a look at t is equal to 0 the value of the function is 1 right and at negative 1 we have just saw that this is equal to 0 so have a look isn't this the line that we are talking about so this is the line okay with the slope equal to 45 the y intercept equal to 1 and the x equal to negative 1 so this is for the left portion which means for this particular portion now for the right portion what do you have again from y equal to mx plus c now in this case c is again 1 but m is equal to negative 1 and this you know from your basic differential equations or from your basic calculus m is equal to negative 1 means the tangent of theta is negative 1 so what is theta for which value is negative 1 what what is the value of theta for which slope is negative 1 you don't know theta is a 135 degrees for the slope of the line to be negative 1 theta is 135 degrees and, you, and, and, and I believe I missed a point that it is counted in the anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise the reference is the positive x-axis fine so now over here we would have a line over here and m is equal to negative 1 would be a ne decreasing slope or, or that is theta 1 that is done fine so it would be again a positive 1 but what do we have the limit over here it's 1 so if we calculate the, the next point over here we need two points for a line to join so we can calculate we can calculate the line by having the next value so what is the next value we can calculate it from here negative t plus 1 uh, this is y right 
So now if I put this equal to 0, if I have to find the x-intercept, so let's say I find y equal to 0. So if y is equal to 0, we have a negative t plus 1. So this means that uh, negative t is equal to negative 1, so, or it could say that t is equal to 1. So this t is equal to 1 is the next point of the line with a slope equal to negative 1. So if you join it, this would be like this. So have a look. Y intercept is 1, the next point is 1, theta is 135 degrees, slope is negative 1. That's all about it. This is the unit triangular pulse. Now I'm doing these, I did the previous one also and this one also in the discrete time domain. You can have similar in the, sorry, I'm doing this in the continuous time, you can have it in the discrete time. So. This is all about the introduction. Now we check if this is an E1 signal or is this an odd signal. E1 odd. So, uh, okay. So what you do is you, you flip the signal around the y-axis. So if you have triangular of negative t, triangular of negative t, so have a look. This is symmetrical about the, the, the y-axis. So again it's the same thing again it's the same thing which means that the triangular of t is equal to triangular of negative t so this implies what that this is an even signal is that okay now the next point is that, that if you check that if this is a power signal or an energy signal now, I will tell you directly that this is a finite duration signal, finite duration signal, so, so this is what, this is an energy signal, isn't it so? But this is just for, for, for an MCQ point of view, uh, you are given an objective, you just say this is finite duration, so this is an energy signal, but if you are doing in, in your paper, so you would not have to do it like this. You have to do it through the proper formula, which is that the energy of a signal is equal to integrating from negative infinity the modulus of the function squared and you integrate it with respect to t. You have to do it by this particular method. So which means that from uh, negative infinity to negative 1 the function is 0. Then you have from negative 1 to 0, it's t plus 1 dt. Then you have from 0 to 1, it's negative t plus 1 dt. And then you have from 1 to infinity, it's again 0 and dt. So you do it yourself, okay? I am very weak in solving these integrations. Right now, also I solved it. So first time I got the answer to be uh, 0. My friends got answer to be 2 by 3. Again, I calculated, I got the answer to be 1. So I said, for me, the shortcut is fine. This is a finite duration signal, this is an energy signal. You know the mathematical operations, you're strong in them, you do it through that way. For me, this is the way. That's all about this lecture. That's all about the triangular functions in the next lecture. Very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.